Watch out for the nades, boys. Wait, what? Hey, Johnson Gen Squad was here bringing you gaming for Zesty Twist, and I'm already late enough as it is, so let's just jump into the content. So, about a week and a half ago, we went over three new weapons, one of them being the Sword Off Shotgun. Thought it would be a really good variance to the shotguns, but now we actually have it confirmed that we're going to be getting the Sword Off Shotgun. Now, the first thing I want to bring your attention to is that in the early double barreled shotguns, they usually had two triggers, one for each barrel, and as you can see here, they've definitely implemented that. Now if you don't know what that means, it means that you can shoot off both the barrels at once. And currently we only have one button for the trigger. The game doesn't know if we're pulling our finger all the way back to shoot both the barrels. So really I think they have three different ways they can make it. First off is they can stick to the original, switch between firing modes, obviously you're single, and then you would have something to shoot both the barrels. The other option they have is this single click for shooting and hold down your trigger if you want both barrels to go off. And the last one is to make some like completely new alternative firing mode where you actually have a set button which will shoot off the alternate fire and you just have obviously your regular trigger. Now obviously option one is most likely going to happen, it's the most viable one, but I definitely think having some kind of completely new alternate fire is super viable because um, then that way they in can implement a lot more other things in the game, for example adding things like rocket launchers onto the end of your gun. That's probably a bit of a stretch, but let's just move on to what they actually said in the tweet. So here's what they actually said, and I quote, The test servers are now offline. Thank you for helping us test and for all your feedback. The desert map will be available in the next round of testing. Here's a new weapon exclusive to the desert map will keep you posted regarding the schedule. Now I want to point out a couple things here but I'm going to keep it along the lines of the weapons still. So they're saying that they want to have exclusive weapons for each different map. So obviously it's all speculation but the other two weapons we had data mine, the Winchester, the Rhino, Rhino Revolver, it always gets me that word. I 100% uh, think they're going to be exclusive to the new desert map. But this opens up so many more doors. I, I definitely think they're going to have exclusive crate drops because they already have a lot of weapons in the crates as it is. You know, you don't want to have too many weapons being able to be inside those crates. I think they're going to create more weapons for the crates. And along those lines also, I think there's going to be a lot of weapons and vehicles which are only going to be exclusive to Inglewood, our map that we have right now. Now let's move over to that question, when will we actually get to see the desert map? And I've seen a lot of other YouTubers speculate when we're going to see it, but they don't really explain why they think that, or it's really a rough, rough estimate. And I nearly completely agree when they say we're going to see it, but I'm going to explain to you why we're going to see it at that time. So this information came from a tweet a couple days earlier which stated that the first ever gameplay for the new desert map would be at the game awards. So because they stated this would be the first ever gameplay of the new desert map but as you can see here that would be live on the December the 7th that there will not be a test server out for the desert map before then. But now this leaves us in a bit of a limbo as we know the game's going to be released on the 12th of the 12th but we 100% know there'll be a round of testing for the desert map as they said it in that last tweet. I think it's also key to note that majority of the time when they've had the test servers go up, it's been on a Monday or at least then on the Tuesday, but this time the whole game is being released on the Tuesday. This is why I've come to the conclusion after the live stream, they're going to put the test servers up for like a one day celebratory test to get it out of the way, get some feedback, get the bugs out, see if they can fix it in time, and that will give them enough time also maybe just to fix some small things before it actually goes live on the Tuesday. If I was going to say another day, I would say maybe the Monday, but that would be pushing it as they would pretty much be intervening with the actual live servers. And that's it guys, I hope you really enjoyed my in-depth analysis of the updates to come and what update are you guys most excited for? Are you most excited for the desert map or vaulting or new weapons and new vehicles? There's so much to come, I'm really excited and uh, I really milked this update so that I can make more content so please remember to subscribe for that. And as always, and as always, I, it was like a <laughs> inception kind of thing.